All right, the basics of a sp spectrophotometer. So first of all, you're all going to have a light source, and um, the light is going to shine through um, usually a lens or something that condenses the light, and it will go through an entrance slit into this chamber that contains a monochromator. So this can be a prism, like represented here, or it can be a diffraction grating of some sort. The idea of a monochromator is it uh, splits the light into mono one color, color, so be beams of a single color, that's monochromator. So uh, this prism will take this beam of light and split it into different uh, colors and different wavelengths um, of the electromagnetic spectrum. And, and then you have an exit slit, and this can be moved up and down to select whichever wavelength uh, that is appropriate for the sample being analyzed. So here we have green coming through and so we've selected green and so this green part of the light is going to come through and hit our uh, sample here, sample cuvette, and um, and then our sample cuvette has sample in it at a set concentration and so some of this light is going to be absorbed by the sample and the rest of it is going to be transmitted on into onto the photo detector. So the photo detector's job is to uh, detect the amount of light that's been transmitted uh, through the sample cuvette. Um, and so and its job is to convert this electromagnetic radiation EMR or light this wavelength it uh, is going to convert it into an electrical signal into electrons and that's going to be transmitted to a readout and it will give you the number of the absorbents for the readout. So here it would be 0 0.31.